hello guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Alma and today I am gonna be doing um, a little a look with the elf and Jake is a collaboration the palette is the to the rescue palette and that is $20 it also comes with the Suki to my heart the eyeshadow duo and the names are so cute. This one is I'm Pupset. And this one over here, it is What a Pity Smile. It also comes with this brush set, which is $20, $25. And it's really cute. It's basically all you need, every single brush you need for to do a makeup look. This, everything in this collection is vegan and cruelty free and I am gonna try to use every shade in the eyeshadow palette so if you want to see just keep watching and I'm also doing a giveaway so stay tuned till the end so I could so you could see what you need to do in order to enter the giveaway okay I also forgot to mention that if you post a picture of your favorite animal it could be a dog a cat a fish whatever and use the hashtag oh what was it i slip face and paws and elf will donate a dollar for every picture to j kiss's favorite um i'm sorry her animal rescue which is angel city pits and i thought that was so cute and so nice oh what else the maximum donation, I believe, is $25,000, so keep that in mind. And let's Also, I forgot to mention that if you take a picture of your favorite animal, you, your favorite animal, your cat, your dog, whatever, um, and you use the hashtag, I slip face paws, elf will donate a dollar to J Kiss's favorite animal rescue, which is the... Angel City Pitbulls so that's really nice and I thought this was super cute and the eyeshadow you know how they usually come with a little plastic to cover the eyeshadows well it came with this plastic and it comes with all these stickers it's super cute so you can put them on your palette to decorate so I've already set um, primed my eyes with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter um, eyeshadow primer and I am going to start off with Yosemite and I'm just going to pat it and blend a little bit and I'm using the J2 brush and the palette does have a lot of fallout but I don't mind it. I just mention it because I know some people do. And then with that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade Millie. And pat it right next to the Yosemite shade. Then I'm going to go into the shade Casey. Sorry, my kids are making a lot of noise, but I have kids. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't have anyone to watch them right now. I like how they're blending. The, the shades are blending really nice together. I've already used this palette a couple times. So this isn't really a first impression on it. So how has everybody been? Everything's been so crazy lately with the... Corona, quarantine, fuck everything. 
so I hope all of you are doing okay. Just blend that, those shades together. And this is still the same brush, the J2. I just use the same brush for every. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the J3 brush just to blend out the edge a little. I didn't put any product on it, just clean brush. And actually, I hope I can... It hasn't sold out because I want to get another... Another brush set. Because I don't have many brushes and these are really, really nice. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm, let me have a drink. I'm drinking Jamaica. Hibiscus or whatever. I think that's what it is. I am going to take the shade Strawberry. I just have to be careful because this is the shade that broke on my palette. And it's getting everywhere. And I'm just going to put it on the outer corner. My little mirror. Oh, it's so dirty. There we go. And then I'm taking the shade Suki. Also with my finger. Just put that in the middle. And then on the inner corner of the lid, I will do the shade Firefly. Oh, this is so pretty. And just blend those three shades together a little bit. Colourpop E17, taking the shade Peaky, and then I'm putting that on the lid, and a little bit on the crease, not too far up. Really sorry about these kids yelling, and being loud. And then I'm taking the shade Cannoli. It's a really pretty blue. And then putting it on the middle of the crease and the lid. Sorry, the lighting went weird. I don't use any lighting, artificial lighting. I use the natural light and it's getting cloudy. The sun keeps coming in and out. Mm. 
But if I didn't record now, I don't know when. I've been just going busy busy this past few weeks. Where it's from or it's so old, but it's a really nice brush. And I'm gonna take the sage uh, the shade Sadie. Little tongue twister right there and then I'll put that on the outer corner and just wing it out a tiny bit so hungry but I haven't gone grocery shopping so I don't know what I'm gonna order. I'm gonna get some food for us. Maybe some pizza. The one thing these kids will eat pizza. And I, and I've been thinking of doing this um once a week post like um of like a regular makeup video and then on one day and then on another day doing like a true crime story because I'm very interested in true crime I'm always listening to podcasts and I think it would be fun well yeah I watch Bailey Sarian and she she does the Monday makeup murder mystery Monday and I love that concept so I'm really thinking about doing that something similar I won't do it on a Monday but one day or one once a week or every other week I want to do that get myself a little more comfortable while talking on the camera. It's weird, I guess, at first. I'm going to take this clean spectrum brush just to blend out the edge a little, the edges. It has no product on it. Kids home all day, working from home with kids, and I'm not just filming, I just, I work from home, and these kids are here with me, I'm with them 24-7, so it's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. This week has been so crazy. When my mom calls me and tells me that she crashed and she needed me to go help her, so I'm over here freaking out, thinking she's hurt or something, but she was fine. It was just a little scary. She was nervous and scared I guess but she's okay her car's messed up but hopefully we could fix it we could get it fixed and she could get her car back soon because she uses her car every day for work she drives around delivering food so she needs her car but yeah yesterday I took her with to deliver food all day which I was lucky that my husband didn't work and he was watching the kids while I did that and she has some good friends who let her borrow their car I used that same brush to clean off the edge a little I had to add a little more because 
I feel like a little bit of the color went away when I was blending it. Nobody ever calls me. And right now that I'm trying to film, get a phone call from my mom. Now my husband's calling me. Ay, ay, ay. I could call him back. So, I could wait. Because I use my phone to record. I don't have a camera. This is on my phone. I'm trying to save up to buy a camera. But, we'll see. Okay, now with my finger, I'm taking the shade Reagan. Oh, this is so pretty. Just putting it on the inner corner of the lid. And then this shade, I love it. It's I think it's one of the prettiest sh shades in the palette. It's the shade Bailey, and it's beautiful. Let me show you. I get that with my finger. Bailey. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I'm going to put that on the middle of the lid, right next to Reagan. <clears throat> Oh, it's so pretty. Sorry, it's the prettiest shade. Now clean my finger and grab the shade Confetti. Which is also super pretty. My favorite color. So, a little bias there. Confetti. And I'll put that on the outer, outer lid, outer corner of the lid. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put mascara and eyelashes off camera. And I'm going to use the NYX on the Rice Mascara. And I think for lashes, I'm going to use these Black Moon Cosmetic Lashes. They're the tri uh, Triangulum. I got these for free because um, I bought some lipsticks. And they were giving away a pair of lashes. So let's see, I've never used any lashes from them. This is my first time and these are also um, cruelty free and vegan. Now I'm going to move on to the face before I do the under eye. And I've really been loving this um, face primer. It's the Ole Henriksen, the Banana Bright Face Primer. And I feel like it's making my skin look really nice like glowy or I don't know like more even this um, foundation I hadn't used it because I ran out and I hadn't ordered any it's the stay naked foundation and this is a shade 41 NN and I've also been loving applying my foundation with this brush it's the ColourPop F15 it's just I feel like it looks so good like, I've been loving it even more than the Beauty Blender, and I used to not really like doing my makeup with brushes anymore. But since I started using this one, I love it. I feel like it gives you nice coverage, and it doesn't look streaky. And I just like tapping it onto my skin. And then I just did two, pump two pumps of that foundation. Put it on the back of my hand. A little bit on the neck. And whatever's left just on the forehead. I wear my hair. And then I use the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. If it's not the kids screaming, it's the dogs barking, I'm sorry. Those are the neighbor's dogs barking. I don't know why I put that on my forehead. I stopped doing that, but I guess I'll do it again for today.
And then for concealer, I've also it's I'm also using the Stay Naked concealer, and this is in the shade 40 NN. And then I've been doing this, um, just doing a little bit here and a little bit here, and I feel like this is all you need. Like for makeup that looks looks good in person, not just on camera. Like just don't over apply. I feel like we just see like people just over applying everything. Makeup, like piling on and piling on the makeup and I mean I'm not gonna say this is a natural look because it's not but you don't need all that excess product. I feel like it looks better in person and you save money because you don't use as much. I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty, the Sun Stalker Bronzer, and the shade Island Ting. With this little brush, it's the ColourPop F21. <clears throat> then just do it right here. And another thing I've changed in my makeup is um, I haven't been setting my face at all. I haven't been putting any powder under my eyes or anywhere, really, and I've liked it. I'm going to put a little bit down here for that double chin. What else? What else? Now, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Water Brat, the highlighter. I really love this highlighter. It looks so pretty. It makes you look so glowy. It's beautiful. It's like my favorite highlighter. It's the pink one. Oh, it's so pretty. And just swirl it around and this is a Morphe E61 brush it's my favorite let me move on to the under eye and then I for the I've already used all these shades and all these shades so now I'm gonna try to use the rest of the shades on the under eyes Sorry, my boob is itchy. And then I'm taking this little, let's see which one. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place today. <clears throat> taking this J4 from that brush um, brush set. Uh, the J4. <laughs> Sorry. And then I'm going to dip into Pepper off the excess and put it on the on the lower lash outer corner let me get my little mirror and I really like bringing my the color on my lower lash like down down you know if you want to be more precise and go right ahead but that's just what I like. Now I'm taking Zuma in the middle. Same brush. I just clean it off. I have a little, just a little rag that I use to wipe down the makeup. Now I'm taking Paloma. On the lower lash, on the inner corner of the lower lash. So pretty. Okay, and now with the same brush, just cleaned off the shade. I'm going to take Pretty Girl. Pretty Girl. 
on the lower lash, on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Oh, that's pretty. I just love the color purple so much. See, if I had two brush sets, I wouldn't have to clean this every time and dip into a new color. Okay, now I'm taking Thatcher on that same brush on the middle of the lower lash. And then I'm taking the shade Tank on the lower lash inner corner. That's so pretty. Now with the brush, the J2, I'm just going to blend that a little bit, blend that out. And do the same on the other eye. Okay, for the inner corner, I'm going to use the, the eyeshadow duo. And I want to use, mm, let me see, I think I'm going to do... What a pity smile on this side, just on the inner corner. And then I'll blend that with my pinky a little bit. Just tap it up. And then the other eye, I'm going to use the I'm Pup Set, which is the more of a, like a green, like a yellow green. on this side and blend that with my finger, my pinky it's so pretty what's next? I think I forgot to put bronzer on my nose my nose And then I put it under the lip too. Okay. Now for, let's see, blush. I don't know what blush to wear. I think I'm going to wear this one. It's the Get Laid, the Super Shock Chic from ColourPop. I think it's, a, it's really pretty. It came out for the last year's spring collection. I'll use this little ColourPop. F20 brush. I haven't used this for blush, but I think it will look pretty. We'll see. And then just tap it. Such a pretty shade. I feel like I'm bringing it too far in, but fix that up a little right now with the my with my the brush I use for my makeup what now what what now let me clean it up a little okay it's pretty 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 and then for the eyebrows, I just use the Kush Fiber Brow Gel. But I changed, I used to use, wear the shade Dutch. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it was too orange. So now I'm using the shade Grind. And I start at the, the outer, the tail, sorry, the tail of the eyebrows. And then just whatever's left, put it on the inner and not too much because then it looks crazy. And then do the same on the other one. What else? Okay, I'm also trying to convince my husband to do a video with me. My husband does my makeup. I don't know. <laughs> 
but if he ever gets a day off, he's been working every day, every day. And yesterday, which was his day off, I didn't even get to spend time with him because I had to drive my mom around everywhere. So that was fun. <laughs> and I had to work, so either he's working or I'm working. Cause I love blush. Okay, for lips, I'm thinking about using this from Black Moon. It's called Purgatory. Let's see. Let me clean off this lip mask. I have the Tatcha, the Kiss You lip mask on, and I like putting a lip mask on before I. Like when I start doing my makeup. To make my lips like. Not feel like crap. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to do this one. I don't know why. I just feel like doing this. Lip. Shade. It's a new lipstick. I just got it in. So. I want to. Let me try to fix that. Let me fix that and I'll be right back. Okay, I fixed the lips already. Um, what's next? I'm going to add just some setting spray. And I'm using the Pacifica Cherry Matte Setting Spray. It smells really nice. Okay, that's a lot. Take these cute little stickers. I need a little fan. I was hoping to get the the ColourPop Mulan. The little fan because it's so pretty but it was sold out. Hopefully they bring it back. <laughs> okay, now I just add a little mascara to the lower lash line. The same mascara on the rice by NYX. I'm gonna hurry up because my pizza's on the way and I'm hungry and my kids are hungry. Is the finished look which side do you like better the warm tones or the cool tones I like both but I feel like the cool tones I don't know I just like how they look more on my I don't know I feel like it makes my eyes look nicer I don't know but I like them both uh, so for the giveaway I ordered two of everything. I have to make two of the palettes, so two of the little eyeshadow duo and two of the brush sets. So I am giving away one eyeshadow palette, one of the eyeshadow duos, and one of the eye brush sets. To be entered to win, just you gotta like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you want to leave your Instagram handle so I could contact you easier. But that is all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.